This video is brought to you by Spiderfy, the ultimate bird and bug system add-on for Blender, available for download on blendermarket.com. How to make money rain from above in Blender using class simulation and particle systems. First find a front and back image of fake money. Use import images as planes to get the front image into your scene, and then in the shader editor, duplicate the material setup and use the back image texture for the money on this second copied setup. Then to have the front and back of the money texture show up correctly on the plane, add a mix shader and connect the two principled BSDF shaders into it. Then add a geometry node and use the back facing setting as the input into your mix shader. Now you should have the front and back images of your money on your plane. You can add a bump map to your money as well for a bit more detail. To create dynamic flowing money, we're going to create a cloth simulation. Subdivide your money a few times so that you can simulate your money movement more effectively. I recommend adding a subdivision modifier in the modifiers tab as well for a bit more detail. Duplicate your money asset a few more times so that we can add variety to our money instances. On each money asset, go into edit mode and select some vertices that you want to pin down in your cloth simulation. While still in edit mode, go to the object data properties tab and add new vertex groups for each piece of money. Assign your selected vertices to the vertex group that you have created on each money asset. Now go back into object mode and apply all transforms forms to your money models and in the physics tab add a cloth modifier to each piece of money. Under shape, choose the pin group to be the vertex group you have created for each piece of money. Now when you play through your scene, you'll have a cloth simulation with pin down vertices like this. Now to adjust the cloth settings. For a look more like paper, choose the cotton preset. Then under the physical properties, bring the vertex mass way down so that the cloth isn't as heavy. Change the bending model to linear and under the stiffness tab, increase the bending until you get a more realistic paper look. Enable self collisions and bring down the distance all the way for a more realistic sim and add a wind force field if you want to create money that looks like it's waving in the wind. Now to instance these sims on a particle system, select all of them and add them to their own collection. Now add a plane to your scene and add this plane to its own collection. In the particle tab, add a new emitter particle system to this plane. Increase the lifetime of the particles to the length of your timeline. In the field weights tab for your particle settings, make the effector collection the one containing your particle system so that no other forces affect it. To get particles to act more like falling money, bring the normal setting in the velocity tab down to zero. And then in the forces tab, increase the Brownian setting for more random falling movement. For slower falling money, you can increase the drag and damp values in the particle settings as well. And if you want to add more random movement, you can add a turbulence field to the same collection and increase the strength and scale settings until you get your desired movement. Under the render tab within the particle settings, switch the render as option to collection and select the collection containing your money models. Slowly increase your render size until the money looks to scale. Finally, for random rotation in your money particles, enable the rotation checkbox and increase randomize phase and randomize phase all the way. Enable the dynamic checkbox and add a subtle amount of angular velocity for a bit more rotation and tweak as desired. Finally, save your project and in the cache tab for your particles, click on bake all dynamics and check out your simulation. Anyways guys, that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. As always, feel free to leave a comment below if you have any questions or suggestions. Subscribe if you're interested in more visual effects and filmmaking content, and I'll see you next time.